All right, B plus do this. First thing first, the name is LUI. Secondly, the game it is the game of Mr. Olympia in merely a week uh, by now. Thirdly, thirdly, exclusive pictures of one very expected veteran in the game, Mr. Victor Martinez. I just received uh, during the last few minutes exactly five pictures. We're going to take a look at them in a few. Right before that, let's take a look what's going on globally in that major event. This guy uh, already won actually uh, the Tampa Pro, if I'm not mistaken. His name uh, is uh, Ahmed Ashkanani, right, from Kuwait. Uh, take a look at his back. Right now you will see him next to the real deal, Chris Cormier, uh, training some pose. The back is amazing. Now he's not prep ready, so please disregard the bubblegut bonanza. But, but look at the back. I mean, by the way, the guy is 212 category, right? So the smaller guys. But his back is absolutely massive. Look at that back. It's a small version of Dorian Yates. Properly uh, devout back. Bubblegut Bonanza yet, but during the show, it will not be there, hopefully. We'll see what's up. I'm not saying he's gonna knock uh, Flex Lewis, but from the back, uh, if he stands next to him, with all due respect, he would be way larger, way uh, thicker than him. Proper salute to one guy that you guys love, Mr. Machiavelli Motivation. By, by far, the guy who makes the best motivation uh, related to bodybuilding on, on YouTube. Uh, right now, he salutes uh, Mr. Dallas McCarver. Let's take a look at that real quick. I just won another pro show. I'm going to the Olympia. I do what I love every day. I do it with my best fucking friend in the world. Trump this is what I love. You know, this is what I do. And I've been there. You know, I've worked, you know, 12, 13 hours a day and done this. And it, it's not easy. I know. Okay. It's very, uh, very uh, uh, anticipated this year. I had a brief chat of him. This is live. Je fais un vidéo, je te rappelle. Bye bye. This is live, bro. Can you imagine that? Anyway, I had a brief chat with him. He's gonna send me some media quite soon, so for that, I, I salute him. We're gonna watch a video of him published merely a few minutes ago doing some uh, some shoulders. This picture was published uh, lately by this giant uh, himself, right? So, Mr. Shaw Strength, one of uh, the strongest men in the world, with Mr. Olympia 08, namely Dexter Jackson. Dexter still looks big, that jaw is absolutely anabolic. Uh, as a reference, this was uh, Mr. Dexter Jackson probably in 1887 <laughs> doing, uh, you know, some comparison poses with uh, Eugene Sandow, but he lost and it was absolutely politics. It was politics as uh, usual, right? Uh, a dude actually, well, before going to the dude, can you imagine this guy is just physique? This guy is just physique, of course. He's the two-time Mr. Olympia physique, Jeremy Bondia. And a lot of people question this picture, but isn't he just too much for, for Clausier? I mean, these guys barely ever pose, for God's sake. They're just basically on a pageant. They just move about and show their physique, right? He is absolutely conditioned like crazy. As you guys know, he's been trained by Henny Rambot, the same trainer slash guru as Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath. So he is in very, very good hand. Another person who is in very good hand is my good friend, Mr. Nathan Diasha. This guy came from, from Liverpool, UK. And right now, you know, he's been in Kuwait for exactly nine months. It's gonna be his debut in Olympia. We'll see how it goes. He's not out of the oven as of yet, but believe me, by next year, he'll have all kinds of promotion. I had a chat with him, bro. He told me, you know what? I have no pressure because this year I have no promoters, no sponsors. It's all good. I'm just chilling down here in Kuwait. We'll see how it goes. All right. Absolutely to be saluted. Uh, a proper quote from Mr. Sean Roden referring to Winston Churchill, another Brit. It says, if we open a quarrel between past and present, we shall find that we have lost the future by Winston uh, Churchill. He was the prime minister of Great Britain during World War II, as you guys remember. 
So he forgets about uh, the past and whatever happens uh, till right now, the present. And he expects great things for the future. And we expect you, uh, Mr. Sean Roden, you will be hopefully a sight to be properly uh, saluted. This guy was saluted by myself. Uh, he is just actually not even a bodybuilder. Uh, technically, he's just in classic physique or classic physique, right? This um, horseshoe action is absolutely to be saluted. I had no clue about him prior to yesterday. But that division will be absolutely stacked. It is one of the most exciting. So, in other words, uh, this gentleman right here, Mr. Arash Rahbar, uh, has a lot on his hand. As you guys can see, I said, uh, my friend Arash Rahbar is set to be the very first Miss Olympia classic physique. A lot of guys are gunning for him. This division is already amazingly stacked with so much uh talent right and actually he answered me uh right after and it triggered a lot of discussion a lot of people were saying bro sadiq is coming that guy mr classic physique you know it's just stacked let me see what he answered me real quick it was up there there it goes so he answered me uh you too kind bro uh, we will see how uh, what, what's to come. Like you said, a lot of great athletes uh, will be there. Everyone is looking great. Uh, thank you. So indeed, by all measures, it is already an exciting division. I think IFBB made a very good choice to open up this uh, this niche in a sense. It was not uh, obvious until yes, um, uh, uh, she uh, last year, but we cannot wait to see what's going on. Uh, I have inside, not inside information, but direct information from this big uh, human male specimen, Rolly Winkler. Uh, he cannot wait to settle a record with one personal guy. Now, as you guys know, he is a gentle giant, right? He never talks trash against nobody. But he feels that he, that is a record to be settled between him and specifically one guy. And he prays. That basically the judges will put him next to him so dwarfing does occur specifically in the most muscular pose we'll talk about it after mr olympia if that ever happens i just received picture about him actually from his legs but then again they will stay secret uh he does not want to disclose them like uh victor martinez uh want to do right talking about victor martinez you guys need to remember what this guy was like. What can he be like when he is on? So let's take a look at this marvelous, uh, gifted physique who used to beat Dexter Jackson when he was on. Largest clavicles right there. Papa. The sweep he has in that hamstring is absolutely out of this world. Outwardly, daily, front. Let's spread, Mr. Victor. Look at the sweep right there. Look at the sweep. It's like a freaking biceps of the leg, for God's sake. Properly uh, displayed. And the back is just ridges, valleys, you know, you name it, mountains. It was a sight uh, to be saluted when he is on. And believe me, this year is not far away. I'll show you the, the pictures we spoke about. Highly anticipated, Mr. Victor. Properly uh, displayed, uh, Mr. Vic uh, Martinez. Proceed, haha. Uh, shall we? Uh, what are we at? Uh, this guy is unknown, actually. He's also in 212 uh, categories. Baby. Please, please disregard uh, the back hair. He is not groomed. But please salute uh, the level of that muscular development this human specimen is uh, pretty much displayed. Here's another uh, guy from uh, Iran. He is Persian. Uh, let me remove the music proper back for real proper proper back just thick i mean these guys are 212 so they're capped by a limit they need to pack the maximum muscle for that for that upper limit of 212 believe me every one of them is just sick because striations feathers for days bruh proper salute aka in persian salam hobby <laughs> Proper lead the spade. Now, this was the last show in of Mr. Vic Martinez, right? Not a long time ago. I think it was in, where is it? Uh, not Buffalo. I forgot that, that city, but I'm going to tell you in a, in a, in a few. Uh, it was just proper. 
image was not loyal, but you can see actually. Come on, it was good. There we go. The guy uh, screaming is his trainer, Mr. Uh, Abdullah Al Farhan, who just sent us uh, those pictures, which we will look at in a few. Latest picture of Mr. Koala Josh uh, Lenartowitz. Wow, I can pronounce it finally. I threw this guy. Uh, I wrote to him this morning. He's going to send me actually uh, some uh, pictures actually and some media quite soon, hopefully. He asked me if it is uh, at the Olympia or in Australia. I said, bro, uh, pre preferably prior to Miss Olympia. Right? He is next to Mr. Dougherty. Mr. Tony Dougherty. You guys absolutely know him. Uh, he trains in his gym. Uh, by all means, I think that this guy will be one of the most conditions, if not the best, best condition guy. He never misses uh, that uh, peak week. He will be pretty much the replacement of Mr. Uh, Dennis uh, Dennis Wolf. Absolutely to be saluted. Talking about Dennis Wolf, uh, most likely we will not see him in Mr. Olympia, as we have mentioned, because he just went through a surgery. However, he is scheduled to appear right here right so this is mr olympia europe this time round, which will take place in his country uh, germany and believe me he will do whatever it takes uh, to be there it will be in october so uh, more or less uh, a little bit more than a month after uh, mr olympia right to be proper they brought it back i think it will be very very uh, popular proceed haha -ha, uh, shall we that's the marvelous milestone version of our friend Mr. Jay Cutler. We spoke about him yesterday where he won his first Miss Olympia. It was in 2006. But if you guys uh, remember, uh, a lot of people speculated and argued for, for the longest time. Even himself argues that he should have won this year, the 2001. He came from nowhere. Nobody saw him coming. And admittedly, I do believe that Ronnie Coleman that year was not... The best, he was very weak and he was afraid, right? This guy was on. Unfortunately, they did not uh, give it to him uh, back then. You can recognize Mr. Melvin Marvelous Anthony from the back. I think he is just admiring and admiring uh, this marvelous version of Mr. Cut Above Cutler. And you can see uh, Sean Ray. I think he was just being Sean Ray. Right, proceed, uh, uh, shall we? This was from today as well. Right from Mr. Uh, Nathan, we spoke about him prior. Uh, a gym bro who did it absolutely wrong. Breathing was not loyal, and I think his teeth at the th at the end suffered uh, some consequences. Haha, -ha, baby, please. Not properly executed exercises, get up, baby, please. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeah, there it is. It's all you, bro. Nice. Yes. <laughs> bye bye. Boom. <laughs> Sorry, bro. It, that was not proper, not properly uh, executed, baby. Please, which rhymes with knees? Who needs knees, baby? Please, knees are an overrated joint. So do this next time, bro. Merely not proper. The hell is this weight? Is this real weight or CrossFit weight, bro? This real weight? Who needs, bro, why don't you do like regular dips? Wade dips? You know, with a chain and everything. Who needs knees, baby, please? One, two, no knees, please. Bye-bye. Not, absolutely not uh, actually uh, uh, saluted. Uh, till then, actually, uh, Kai actually granted the access of his tricep ropes to Mr. Uh, Phil Heath. And this is the very latest video before switching to Victor Martinez of Mr. Dallas uh, McCarver. Let me tell you this. Uh, I can absolutely tell you that off record, Phil Heath has high regards for Mr. Dallas McCarver. I think this is the first time I'm disclosing this, but I guarantee you, Mr. Dallas, Phil Heath thinks highly uh, of you. And when I told Phil Heath, bro, I mean, this guy is coming and he might be just the next Mr. O in, in a certain period of time, I guarantee you, he told me, bro, by then, uh, I will no longer be around. So, uh, pretty much everybody is expecting Dallas McCover. That I guarantee you, right? This was today. Some Delt uh, training is massive. I think he's in the lead when it comes to the holy trinity of prospects. Nathan and Compton 
are in that mix but this guy is is ahead by a long shot for the completeness of his body that's what's up absolutely saluted so let's switch to what we have mentioned before uh, uh abdullah told me that the quality is not loyal told me bro they were taken with galaxy so he does not salute galaxy now the exact weight in these pictures are 261 261 pounds first thing in the morning uh empty stomach no pump whatsoever of course there is no oil right so imagine you know when the guy will be carved up in peak week he will be absolutely uh, more pumped up uh you know more details you, you know the trip right but nonetheless they look already good i like what i'm saying right i mean side chest is just proper you know in that uh, pumping room uh, the upper body will be that crazy that just amazing right we'll see what's up now the back back a uh, lot spread is just large very large and the christmas trees baby please is absolutely uh, loyal so that's what's up it's not even an hd picture but i think uh i agree actually with uh steven weinberger who said this is the best year of uh mr victor martinez since 2007 and 2007 a lot of people were debating that he should have won versus uh, jay cutler so these are the pictures absolutely to be saluted the tricep you can see the striations there the feathers the christmas tree is like a freaking forest tree for god's sake absolutely to be saluted hamstrings are absolutely detailed the glutes not yet usually the glutes are the very one to come on i'm not uh, quite frankly i'm not expecting him to have those crazy glutes he has in 2006 2007 but nonetheless he will be very 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 close and at 43 it's a major achievement anyway right as i said uh, my predictions this year are absolutely not loyal but as far as this picture goes, I would be really surprised if Victor does not make uh, the top six. He is absolutely top six uh, material and he is absolutely uh, to be saluted, right? He's pretty much uh, the third oldest guy after Kevin and Dexter on that stage. So achievement uh, he has achieved already. Absolutely to be saluted. Don't forget to like the video, comment and salute the LUI. Bro. And by the way, I salute you all. Uh, to be noted, uh, I'll be uh, quite busy with some personal stuff. I'll try to do the live coverage uh, like last year. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it. I'll try to find myself a laptop if I can. But worry not, the reviews will be done. I'll absolutely review uh, the classic physique, classic physique, the 212, and the main event that is for certain. Be absolutely saluted by the LUI. Bro.